everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very, very happy to be back with this kind of back to school makeup look today. I had a wonderful, wonderful summer. I have been traveling a lot. I enjoyed it so much, but now it's time to work, to work as a makeup artist, but also to work more on the very French girl. And this is really what I'm going to do. It's true that I'm saying that for a long time, but since this September, I will post one video per week and I also want to open a blog to write some article in French and in English about beauty products, of course, so stay tuned. I will let you know when uh, this website will be ready. But for now, I wanted to do a kind of rock and roll makeup look with my new haircut. I also wanted a little bit of change. I am doing coloration on my hair because I have white hair, if you are wondering why. So I got a little, I went a little bit more deeper than I usually do, but I wanted something more strong and a little bit more rock and roll. So that's why I did this haircut and this color that I really like. And I'm going out tonight, so I wanted to film my makeup look. So I did black eyes, really, really easy makeup look. You only need two products. So I used a product from MAC, which is their Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Black Ground. So it's a creamy eyeshadow, basically, long wearing eyeshadow. I love creamy products because you can work them with your fingers or with a brush if you want, but it's very easy. You only need two minutes and you're done. And to go with it, I used a little bit of my Estee Lauder by Violet highlighter, which is the soft glow and the name of the shade is La Rose. I talked already about this product. I really love it and honestly, I am using it every day for every kind of makeup look. It's very, it's really a very nice, versatile product that I love. And for my foundation, I also wanted to mention a brand that I really love. I will do an article when I will have my website about this brand because I really love their product. And it's Jane Iredal. So I don't know if you know this brand. In France, it's not very famous. I know it's American, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I found this brand in my favorite skincare concept store, which is Home Eye Cream, that I talk to you about a lot. And they have only two or three makeup brands, so not a lot. They are more specialized into skincare, but they have very, very nice makeup brand, like Clean Formula. So if you follow me, you know I have issue with some acne, if you are new, <laughs> welcome. And yes, I used to have lots of acne. My skin is a little bit better now, but I still struggle sometimes, so I need to be careful. And also with the formulas that I'm using on my face. And this foundation, I have been using it all summer. It's so easy, it's a mineral powder foundation. I use a kabuki brush and in two minutes, I'm done, you will see that in the video. So I really, really wanted to mention this brand that I really, really love. So now I stop to talk and if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, just keep on watching. So I start with my Jenny Redal Pure Pressed Base Mineral Foundation. I have the shade Golden Glow, which is my summer shade when I get tan. As I told you earlier, I really love this foundation. It's a mineral powder. The formula is great, very clean, very great for my skin. I don't have any trouble with it, any more acne or anything like that. And the thing that I really, really love about this foundation is that you can't see uh, the formula and the powder on your face. It's really, in a way, invisible. This is really what I love about it because it gives me this very natural skin, very natural effect. So I apply it with a kabuki brush. I have the Blemish Remedy Kabuki brush from Bare Mineral. It's basically a dense brush, so I grab the powder on it and I apply it in circular motion in a way, all over my face. To cover my blemishes as usual, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in the shade SC4. I have different shades because uh, I use it for my professional kit and the SC4 is perfect for summer. So I apply it with a very pointed brush uh, all over the blemish and I will just go around the blemish in if I need to, to blend the formula. And I can use also like here a fluffy brush 
to smooth everything out so we can't see the formula basically on the skin. For my under eyes I love to use the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in the shade beige. I have it for a long time, I won't lie. I did not use it a lot until today because I didn't know how to use it. If I apply it with the applicator, the creamy product is a little bit sticky and heavy so it gave me too much product under my eyes so the best way I found to apply this concealer is to warm the formula on the top of my hand and to apply it with my fingers and to really push the formula uh, on my skin and this way for me is the best way because we can't see again uh, the product and some texture on the skin. I'm always looking to have a very natural finish. I don't like when people see that I have makeup and texture on my skin. It brightens my eyes and it covers my dark cycle. I don't have much but it's perfect this way for me and I really love it. And with the rest that I have left on my hand, I can apply it on the top of my cheekbones, under my brow bone. For my brows, I am using the Giorgio Armani Eyebrow Maestro in the shade Mahogany, the number 10. So I warm up the product on the top of my hand too and I apply it with an eyebrow brush. I really make sure to don't apply too much because I want very natural finish. So I brush after my brows to blend the formula. Again, I don't like to see that I have texture and color on my brows. And to fix my brows, I love to use this Bobbi Brown Eyebrow Shaper in the shade Mahogany. I have it for a long time. It's a good mascara for brows, very natural, and it helps them to stay in place. For my eyes, I am using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Black Ground. So I really, really love uh, this uh, cream eyeshadow. I can blend it so easily. It's very an easy product to use, and I love to use a detailed brush. So this one is from MAC, and I grab some product, some formula, and I apply it at the root of my lashes, so really at the beginning of my lashes. If I need more, I can apply more and I always go back with my finger to blend everything all over my lid, but I will make sure I keep this intensity at the root of my lashes because I really want the black intensity on my lashes and at the root of my lashes. And I do the same on the other eye. I try to have this symmetry but don't be too precise, don't worry, it's a very easy uh, look, makeup look. I apply a little bit on my lower lash line because I love to have this smoky effect on the top and on my lower lash line, so with the same brush, very easy. And I like to blend it with a little bit of bigger flat uh, brush, so this one is from Zoeva, and I like to, to do that so I will I won't have a very straight black line on my lower lash line. I want this smoke effect on my lower lash line. And to intensify uh, the black look, I love to use this Kat Von D ink liner and I will apply the formula on my top waterline. So I really hate when you know you look at someone and you can see the white uh, inside her high on the top waterline. So to make sure I don't have that, I apply a lot of black ink liner on my top waterline and at the root again of my lashes. So we don't see it, but my eyes and my lashes will be very black. To finish this eye look, I'm using Estée Lauder by Violette La Rose. So I apply it with my finger. It's the best way to apply it. You don't need a brush for this. It's very easy after you just let uh, the eyeshadow live on your lid, basically. And I apply it a little bit in my inner corner to add some light. I really love that. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. I will bronze my face with my Jane Iredal So Bronze Powder. So they do some bronzer, some blush. I love this bronzer. It's a very nice bronzer. You can blend it very easily. It's not too orange, not too brown. It's a very, very great bronzer. And to be honest with you, I have been using it all summer and I really, really love it. For blush, I am using the Giorgio Armani blush in the shade 506. It's the perfect a fresh pink that you can apply on an everyday basis on the top of your cheeks. So I start with my fluffy brush for a light hand, as I said, but I went back with a blush brush from Bull Run, more dense to add more color. 
and I add a little bit of flowers highlighter on the top of my cheekbones to finish my face look. I will curl my lashes because until now I forgot to apply my mascara which is Chanel Le Volume in the shade black. Uh, I love this mascara, Chanel Le Volume is a great mascara if you want very intense lashes, lots of volume and uh, an all-in-one mascara I would say. So yeah, it does a job very easy, very quick, quickly, and for smoky black eyes, I love to use it. For lips, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in the shade Bear. I have to say that this is one of my favorite, favorite lipstick formula. There is some color, it's hydrating, but it's also a sheer formula. So if you want this uh, ink lips, but with a nice feeling on your lips, not too creamy, not too much formula in your lips, not too smooth, but just the perfect amount of color that you don't feel during the day, this is your lipstick. I love all the shade and the bare shade is the best nude for me in a way because it's a little bit peachy, you feel very healthy and it's perfect on an everyday basis. And this is the final look. So I really, really hope you enjoy this makeup look. Honestly, it has been a makeup look that I did um, during lots of parties or when I wanted to go out at night during summertime because it was easy, because it has a really nice effect on my eyes and because I really love rock and roll style too. So I feel like it's a little bit, you know, this black eyes, a little, not very messy, but a little bit messy. And with the highlighter, you will just let your eyelid leave. Don't worry if uh, the creamy product is moving, this is perfectly normal. And you will have a very, very natural look at the, at the end of the day. That's why I really love this way to apply a creamy eyeshadow. So don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this makeup look. If you have tried this kind of Paint Pot Creamy uh, Eyeshadow from MAC. I really love them. They are, there is lots of different colors that I really love. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week in my new video.